Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing great. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about differences between motor drivers, specifically L293 and L298N. So, let's get started with this video. First of all, the question is, why do we need the motor drivers? Well, normally DC motors requires a current of above 250 mA and ICs like ADMEGA 1632 or even 8051 do not produce this type of current. And if you connect these motors directly to the ICs, the ICs are gonna get damaged. And now, to run the motors at high speed, we require the motor drivers. We also cannot connect the motor drivers directly to the microcontroller because the microcontroller produces the voltage about high as of 5 volts and low of as 0 volts and these voltages are insufficient for the motors to run. That is why we need the motor drivers so that none of the components are damaged and the motors are running at the full potential. Most commonly used motor driver ICs are from the series of L293 and L298 like the one that we are going to talk about today that are L293D and l 298 n These ICs are designed to control two DC motors simultaneously and they both consist of edge bridge. Now edge bridge is like a simplest circuit to control the low current rated motors. Now let's dive into what differences are between these two motor drivers and which one you should pick for your use and application that you require. The basic difference between L293D and L298 motor driver is that an L293D motor driver operates between 4.5 and 36 volts whereas an L298N driver can operate up to 46 volts. A maximum of 600 mA current can be drawn through both the channels of L293D driver whereas L298N driver can draw up to 2 amperes from both the channels. L293 is a quadruple motor driver which uses half edge drivers while the L298 uses dual full edge drivers. The EMF are provided internally in L293 but must be provided externally in L298. The L293D is suitable for small current drawing motors like BO motors or DC gear motors up to 500 RPM and small stepper motors which take less than up to 600 mA at their highest torque rating. Whereas the L298 has the advantages of higher output current up to 2 ampere and therefore it is suitable for high torque and high RPM motors like Johnson motors and high torque DC gear motors. So those were the differences between these two motor drivers and if you are wondering what is an edge bridge, edge bridge is basically a circuit which enables the voltage to be applied across the load in both the direction. It basically allows the circuit full command over standard electric DC motors. With an edge bridge, like a microcontroller, a logic chip or an even remote control can command the motor to go forward, backward, brake or even coast. Edge bridges are available as an integrated circuit but also can be built using discrete components. These are the two examples of what an edge bridge looks like. If you want to know more about edge bridges like in detail, you can go check out our blog. The link is down in the description. And that's it. Those are the differences between these two motor drivers and why we use them. Now let's interface them and take a look how they work. Let's start with L298N. This motor driver has two ports for motors, which has supply pins of 5V ground and 12V. Next to these pins are control pins in 1, in 2, in 3 and in 4 which rotates the motors in clockwise and anticlockwise directions. Next is this L293D motor driver which has same two ports for motors and supply pins and 4 control pins to control the motor's rotation. So that's it about this video. If you like this content, give it a like and share it. Also subscribe if you are new here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.